Now to a battle of the border. Senator John Cornyn has been critical of Vice President Harris's Friday visit to El Paso, claiming on Twitter that El Paso is not the real border. KTSM 9 News reporter Aaron Coulihan breaks it down for us ahead of the Health and Human Services Secretary's visit to the borderland tomorrow. The Border Patrol's Rio Grande Valley sector is the epicenter of this human crisis. Despite the GOP's belief that border security and the Rio Grande Valley should be the cornerstone of immigration policies, Democrats and cabinet members are taking time to visit emergency intake facilities caring for unaccompanied minors at Fort Bliss. Our obligation at HHS is to make sure that we take any of the children that Customs and Border Protection has uh, found at the border. Secretary Bassetta will be visiting El Paso tomorrow for a briefing on the progress being made by the administration when it comes to alleviating some of the strain on Customs and Border Protection while also helping to process unaccompanied minors more effectively. Our job has been to find a place, a safe place, a healthy place for several thousand of these unaccompanied minor children that have come across the border. And we're doing that uh, as best we can. And so far, we're, we've been able to help CBP avoid the, the thousands of kids that you used to see a few months ago uh, being detained in these adult detention facilities. Stick with KTSM and our sister site, BorderReport.com, for all things immigration-related. Aaron Coulihan, KTSM 9 News.